Hey, what's happening, guys? Today I've got something a little bit different for you. What I've got here, you know how well you can see it, is an Amazon tablet. This is a uh, eight-inch Fire HD, the latest version, and they're okay tablets, but they don't have the Google Play Store. They don't have all that stuff, and they're full of bloatware and you know, blah blah blah. Anyway, I got two of these on Amazon Day. For like 40 bucks a piece which is a killer deal if they were standard amazon or uh android tablets well i'm going to show you today how to turn it into one it's pretty simple it takes you about 10 minutes first step is we need to uh, bring up the settings and then we're going to come down here to device options Is this one about fire tablet? Yep. And we're going to click on the serial number eight times. One, two, three, four. See what it says here? Three steps away from developer mode. Now we're in developer mode. We can go back. Developer options. Turn developer options on. And the only thing we need to do is come down here and turn on USB debugging. Now we're ready to make this guy into an Android tablet. So I'm going to plug her in, USB-C, hooked up to the computer. If you're using Windows uh, 10 or later, you don't need any drivers at all. All right. Now we're going to go over the computer. You're going to need a small piece of software. I'll show you where to get it, show you how to work it, and we'll make it happen. All right, I'm going to put the link down below for this. It is called Fire Toolbox. This gets updated all the time right now on uh, August the 5th. It is version 21, and it is good for all Amazon Fire tablets dating back to 2014. So here's ours, the Fire 8, 8 Plus. This is Generation 10. We're just going to roll down here. You can see they have a little guide here that tells you what you need to do. We already did that. Then we're just going to come on down here and click the installer, which I have already done. So now I'm going to close this and bring up the installer. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is simply unlock the tablet. You're going to go to your tablet and just click OK. And once you've done that, you get this screen. Oh, let me adjust my uh, fire toolbox there. Okay, there we go. So now everything is ready. The first thing we're going to do is add Google services. So you just click on that and click execute tool have to wait a few minutes for it to download and install and once it's done it tells you wait about 10 minutes for Google services to update on your tablet and that's okay because there's some other stuff we can do while it's doing that this should take just a couple minutes and we are just about done once Play Store is installed, these are the four pieces that you need. Framework, Services, Account Manager, and Play Store. Okay, so it is installed. Step one is done. Now, this is also very important. You need to disable your OTA over the air updates. And this little box will just pop up so you don't have to worry about it. Otherwise, the Amazon software might just destroy your Google software. It's like Highlander. There can be only one. <laughs> All right. Next thing that we're going to do is the uh, lock screen management. And we are going to remove the lock screen ads. This just takes a couple of minutes. 
bada bing, bada boom. And what else do I like? Oh yes, the custom launcher. We'll change it to the Nova launcher so it looks more like a standard Android. We will disable fire, enable widgets. Takes just a few seconds. And there we go. Now, a couple other things you can do is you can install the Google Assistant. And that way, instead of having Amazon uh, Alexa on there, you will end up with Google Assistant and you can talk to your tablet and say, hey, Google. So let's get that rolling. Now, that one took about three minutes, but it is done. And here is the final step. Manage Amazon apps. Completely de bloat. Get rid of all of the crap they install. This doesn't take long at all. There we go. And that's all you need to do with Firebox. It's ready to roll now. All right, as you can see now, we have Google Play. And I'm going to go ahead and log in. There you go. Play Store is installed, and we are ready to roll. For instance, if we want Chrome, we can just type in Chrome and install it. Keep in mind that this does not completely replace the uh, operating system installed by Amazon, but it does remove all of the crap that you get with it and turns it into a much more usable Android tablet. I mean, this is the, well, it's the next of the latest generation. Uh, generation 10 is their latest. But, uh, you know, you pick up one of these for 50 bucks or so, and I think you're doing pretty good it take you 10 minutes to swap it over to uh, Google standards and you're ready to rock and roll with one of these guys all right Chrome is just about finished installing and we'll get it to pop up here in a second hopefully in a second if not I'll have to pause okay there we go and there we go now you can add anything you want to your tablet. And there we have everything that we have installed so far. Again, super simple, takes you 10 minutes. I hope this helped you out and I hope you enjoyed it. If both of these are true, I hope that you'll give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons who make this channel possible. Big thanks to you for watching. That's it. I'm out. Peace.